Hi guys, how are you? Dave here. Um, this video, it's going to be a bit of a revamp of the back of the Y62. What I've got currently in the back of the car is just some Titan drawers from um, Supercenter, which I basically recarpeted, uh, got rid of the left hand wing, pushed it hard left, made a new top, uh, molded all that to the water tank that I've got up the back here, made a bigger wing, put all these bits and pieces in, etc, etc. Um, and then been running the drop down slide on top. Uh, not super happy with it. Uh, for one, these drop slides are pretty damn noisy. Um, they rattle their head off. Uh, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And then also when it's not being used, it takes up so much space in the back of the car. So we're gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna go back to a setup I used to use in my old GU Patrol. I'm gonna run fridge, table underneath the fridge, and then two drawers. So basically going the double stack system. So I'm going to do this next build a little different. Usually in the back of wagons, everyone goes for the timber, the ply setup. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go see Andrew from Moxwell Fabrications in Pakenham, which he's pretty well known for his fit out in the back of utes and building trays and canopies and that sort of thing. And we're going to get him to knock up a set for this. They'll be all alloy, they'll be super light, they'll be super strong. Uh, and what we're going to do to combat, because obviously if it was an aluminium top, it would be quite noisy um, being in the wagon. So I'm going to run a 10mm bit of ply across the top, carpet it, and that'll all then mould into the back of the car. Then obviously there'll be the wing on the side with all the controls and outlets and that sort of thing. So we'll go see him, we'll get it all measured up. I guess all that's left is to rip out all this gear and wait for Mox to build it all for us. And then we can get together installing it and see how it all comes up. Looking forward to this build. really that heavy I played it up a little bit but they are heavy they're about 40 kilos some even heavier depending on what brand and what model you go for but instantly look at that extra cargo space you have when that slide isn't in there um, the drawers are going to be sitting up about this height to the top so when it comes across flat there's still gonna be so much space when we're not using the fridge um, it's just gonna be the perfect setup for me I think it may not work for you but for me this is what I'm after What's that, babe? What a boot! You got a boot. So here we have it. This is basically stage one. What we've got here is the box, two drawers. So this is measurements we wanted to go with. Uh, and then what's next is we'll basically work out what I need to do to rejig all the side compartment here to then push as hard up as I can. I'm gonna have about 100 mil for this screen. So I'll be moving some of this gear around the back. And once we've got all that measurement, that's when we'll know exactly what to make the fridge and the table. That way we're maximizing the amount of space in the back of the car and using it all, not having any wastage on this sides. And then this part here, we're gonna make a wing to fin finish it all off nicely. Um, Behind the drawers here, we're gonna have about 120 mil. So around the back is where I'm probably gonna put the air tank, uh, water pump, I'm gonna store things like, the, I'm gonna get a bottle jack because the jack that comes with these cars is absolutely useless. Uh, first aid kit, things like that. Things that I want to stay in the car all the time, but I don't always need to get to, but are still easy to get to just by dropping forward the back seat. These screws, they're just holding in the draw runners at the moment. They'll all have to come off. Because all this will get powder coated. 
I haven't decided the colour yet. I'll either be going a black or maybe a textured kind of finish. It's a bit messy here from yesterday we are out and about. Wow, that was a good trip. If you haven't seen that video up at Walhalla, check it out. I'll put a link here in the description for that video. There was some carnage, tell you what. So we'll have all this gear mounted up the side here. So that's basically in the position now where it's gonna be. Mark the floor, squared it all up. Go see Moxie. Let's get this fridge sliding table knocked up. Put it all together, powder coat. Next thing you'll see, all this in the car. So here we have it, we are done. Drawers are in and I'm absolutely stoked. Um, it's come up better than I could imagine. The versatility of it is absolutely brilliant. Um, I've basically got it set up now, so I'm running the 85 litre Bushman upright fridge. Uh, I can run the 72 litre National Lunar I have as well. I also have a 130 litre Bushman too, so that fits also. But what I like about it is just, it is modular. I can do whatever I want with it. Um, to change the setups, yeah, it might be a little bit of stuffing around to change it to fit that 130, but I don't think I need to, so that's just gonna stay in the van. And these upright fridges, they're absolutely brilliant. Uh, never set out at the start to put one in, and then the more I started looking into them, hearing the reports about them, you can't go past them. I've done a camping trip with it, I've done a day trip with it, and I can't fold it. Um, the, I'm saying that, in the cabin of a wagon, you get a little bit of a rattle from the compressor. That too is probably amplified because it's not in a box or anything like that in the moment. It's exposed. A lot of guys out there too have a problem with their girlfriends or their wives or whatever. A lot of the time a bit shorter. So, Or even they, if you're a bit short, trying to hop up and over and see. And without those drop slides, they're, they're really hard to get into unless you can sort of stand on a tow ball and look in or you've got them mounted down low. Um, whereas these, just open up the door, everything's there. Easier access, grab yourself a beer. Boom. There's a misconception out there that, oh, stuff goes everywhere, you open the door, everything falls out. It doesn't. If you load it right um, and keep the shelves full, they're fine. You can also put plastic containers and tubs on the shelves to keep everything sort of segregated that way. You're never gonna have a drama. Um, no more than what you would in a chest fridge where you're just stacking everything in anyway. So you're still gonna get dramas with that of stuff falling over. I've lost a few bottles and stubbies and cans over the years from that. The drawers are 95% done. I want to do something with the top, but I'm just going to play around with a few ideas and how to fill it all in. That's what I'm talking about earlier with the ply. I was going to wait as well, so I finished all this top of the drawer systems and it was 100% complete to put this video together and put it out. But that's sort of different for everyone and it's going to be different for every single setup that's out there. So what I more wanted to focus on was just the setup of the drawers themselves and the, the base. Because um, that's what you're going to be working off, like uh, the, the structure of the drawers themselves. They're going to be sort of very similar, obviously a little bit different design, but the way it's so modular, um, that's what I really like. So the infill section is going to, will obviously sit here. It's going to run hard up to the plastic here. And that's where I might stop it and I might have some brackets on here haven't quite worked out how I'm going to do that yet but it'll run hard up to that back of the seat run some probably legs down onto the floor and this piece here is the bit that I'm thinking I'll do in a separate part so that way I can then if I'll put the National Lunar in I can take that section out when I run it like this stays flat one flat all the way across same deal, there's a bit of space just down here so I can run some feet onto the floor, piece straight across and that's going to stop anything falling down there. If you've got any suggestions, always ears open, it's going to take me a little bit just to get this right. Uh, 
want it to be simple if I am removing things. I don't want to have to really spend 20 minutes to change your setup up. You want to just really have to pull a couple of screws or four bolts out or something like that and it's done. Uh, so yeah, that's my next little project with this. Behind the fridge too, I've got the travel buddy. Fits there perfectly. Um, we've got the pull out table here. Like prep space, open up your fridge. Pull your stuff out, do what you gotta do, close it up. And it's so easy to access everything. Brilliant. This slides out too. This comes out miles out. In behind here, travel buddy. I can get to all that. We've got the drawers, two drawers. That's one. The top one as well. They're all on locks too, so parked on the hill. Not gonna go closed on there. The infill here, water pump, compressor, uh, I've got the lights, the tailgate here. It's all off a push button switch. Um, USB, cigarette lighter, outlet. Uh, there's all my battery controls, um, current drawer, it does water tanks, it does temperature. So also I've got another couple of cables here which I'm gonna tap into the fridge so they'll be a freezer temp and a fridge temp sensors which is, it all comes up on this Cimarine gear here. It's brilliant. Airbag controls, left and right. I've got air for the compressor, and then bottom here we've got water. I think I've nailed the setup. It is ultimate. Um, how it is at the moment, it's bloody good. It's so practical. If we step around here, I'll show you around the back how I've um, laid out the compressor, the water pump. Um, I've got the bottle jack tucked in there as well. Water tank, so that's a 50 litre water tank behind the seats. Is it the ultimate lightweight touring setup? I reckon so. I wrote down a couple of numbers here as well, just the, the weight saving of this is insane. So basically, I've pulled out the Titan drawers, which was 70 kilos. I pulled out the DS60 slide, which is 42 kilos. And then if I was to run the National Lunar on it, that's another 33 and a half kilos. So that's 145.5 kilos just in a rear drawer setup. Whereas now, drawers, they're about 15 kilos a side, 15, 16 kilos a side. We weighed it up, it was 32 kilos total. Um, then Bushman 85 here is 21.5 kilos. So that 53.5, this setup here plus the Bushman. So that's a saving of 92 kilos. Also, if we were to factor in the one 30 litre Bushman, for argument's sake, let's just say it sat on the slide. That's 26 kilos for the fridge. So that's 58 kilos total. Again, massive saving over what I had of 87.5 kilos. Then, if I was to put the Lunar on here, uh, that is 33.5 kilos, so a total of 65 together. And that's a saving of 80 kilo, 80.5 kilos. So that's massive. Um, especially with GVMs these days and all that sort of jazz with numbers and how many cars are over. Um, I think going the alloy drawers is definitely something worth looking at. Um, if you go the timber option, uh, from memory, going back with the setups I used to have, if you go a side-by-side -side drawer at, on their own, they're about 40 to 50 kilos just in the drawer system. You incorporate a fridge slot in that, you're going to add another 10 kilos. So just with runners and extra timber and whatnot. So then you're looking at 50 to 60 kilos just in a drawer system. So this could be up to half the weight. Obviously, there's other ones out there, a lot lighter. But even if you worked on 40 kilos, for the drawer system itself. I'm still way under that, and I've got the fridge side. Uh, and then, if you were to go, say, if you say you worked on 50 kilos, well, that's me completely done. And that's without even throwing a fridge onto that setup. So, I reckon going the alloy is the way to go. Mox, he's been an absolute champion helping me out with this. We've been mates with him for years, so usually he just sort of sticks to his canopies and the fit outs of the canopies. But he's, he's helped me out on this, so I'm very appreciative of that. So if you are in the market for a canopy setup, or you know someone who is, hit him up. He's the man for that. Then for me too, have, having the travel buddy here, like that is one of those things that you put in the car and it's always hard to work out where to put them. I'm still in two minds if that's where I'm going to leave it. I may, when I do this sort of top setup, I may build a bit of a pantry or a bit of a drawer or a box set up there that I can slide bits and pieces in have that just sit up a little bit higher here and box that in. I really don't know how I'm gonna finish it off yet. It's all gonna be, I'm gonna go get some ply and just play around with it, build a couple of things and just see what works, try a few different setups. 
can always learn something. So that's the best part of all this. Just, or if you don't know and you're doing it yourself, just tinker. Um, you're never gonna get it right first go unless you get real lucky. They are expensive to buy. Um, aluminium, this is an expensive setup here too. Um, so if you're out building your own first, get into it, give it a go. It's probably the best way to learn too of what's gonna work for you. So spend the time. You may change it 10 times and then work out exactly what you want. Um, and if your finishing skills aren't perfect, then that's when it's time to pay the money, get someone to do it right. The stuff in the drawers, I was originally gonna carpet the drawers as well, but I'm finding, I've got some bits and pieces in at a moment and there is no rattles, there's no noise from it. Um, the noisiest thing here is just this compressor, as I was saying earlier, because there's something in the compressor that floats in oil and you get just a little bit of a knock from it. Uh, in the upright fridge as well, you get the lift up shelves. Um, where you can say put your high things in, put your taller things in, um, they sort of can vibrate as well. But I found if you put a bit of tape or you've got something in there, it, there's no noise from all that sort of thing. Overall, absolutely stoked with the finish, stoked with the practicality. Like, get into all that so easy. Like, it's all, it's all there. Just bang, 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 put it up there. Boom. Is this the perfect setup? Is there really one out there that is perfect? Probably not. Um, but for me, this is going to work well, so hope this has been helpful for you. Hope this has sort of showed you what's possible to do out of aluminium. It's a bit of stuff around um, because it's a lot harder to do yourself in that regard. But if you've got someone that's quite handy with making it and doing it, it's, uh, yeah, it's really worth the effort to go to. Um, same sort of deal, if you design it and you get it wrong, it's definitely harder to change. But the, the weight saving, it's massive. Um, especially these days with all the GVMs and all that sort of issues where people are so high up on their weights of their cars. Um, if you can cut out, like I've just done, 80 kilos or 90 kilos in a draw system setup, that's huge. So what do you think? Ultimate touring setup or what? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, definitely, if you're thinking about it, I'd be really taking a good look at going down the alloy route for when it comes to drawers. Just for that weight saving alone, it's massive. So, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Cheers, guys.